Okay, let's talk about the camera setting. When you are going to the scene manager, we have a camera setting here. This is our camera. As we can see, first thing that you are changing the rotation of the camera, as you can see, it's X, Y, and Z. Parameter is changing. This is on rotation. As you can see, in a Z rotation, it's constant. And we have the rotation just in two axes. <clears throat> so it's very easy. So our camera and the we have some tools here for camera. I'll explain it. And the first thing that you see here is a field of view. Okay, it's in field of view. It's a, uh, how large your scene is. It means that, for example, you are, for example, you want to zoom in this section, but you want to <clears throat> from this angle, you want to see more object in uh, off the canvas so you can uh, increase the number of the field of view but don't forget to something if you go in here th these are the tools for frame selection frame all and this is frame all as you can see try to frame all objects but if you increase the number of the field of view in a higher number you can see some distortion about these objects. As you can see, the object that is in near the camera, you, it looks like it's bigger. <clears throat> so be careful about the field of view. And you can make it a default number. This isn't the problem. Nice. Or be, increase or decrease it if you want it. And this is our field of view. <clears throat> In some cases, if you are in a room and you want to see more of the room, you can increase the field of field, but uh, be careful about the object that are near in a camera. Another interesting thing is field of, in the depth of field. This is, uh, you can, in this software, it called it focus, okay? You can define a, a specific distance from the camera and it is in a focus of the camera, a near or farer object become blur it's very simple just turn it on and as we can see everything in this is blur because we have to set the focus point select it and then click anywhere that you want now as we can see <clears throat> this isn't just in the viewport for better seeing that you have to render it the focus camera is here it's exactly here if you go to the camera the focus camera is here and we can see this image this object clearly but others blur. This is uh, in view. It is, uh, I will be explaining the render in next lesson, but it's very easy. Just click this button, and as you can see, it render scene. As you can see, the blur objects are too much. Here you can increase or decrease. This is a real-time render. It hasn't real-time. You can decrease the number of the blur for object. Nice. <clears throat> if you want this object, uh, in focus, you can go to the camera, set focus point, and just click here. And as you can see, the near object and the far object from the camera are blur. And in this object or in this focus, and you can see it clear. Nice. As you can see, it has a powerful real-time render. So this is just, you can change the blur amount here. And that's, if you don't want it, you can turn it off. If you turn it on, as you can see, you can toggle this tool on or off here. Turn it on, turn it off in viewport. Okay. You can turn it on or off in viewport. <clears throat> another, can turn it off. Uh, another uh, tools here is uh, frame selection or frame all. For example, you are here, you want to frame an aerial object, frame all, shift F. Or you can frame selection. You you want to frame it? You can hit F and click on it. You can remember this shortcut. Frame all and reset the camera. As you can see, it's go to the default camera of the software. And this is an undo. If you rotate it, you can undo just camera, not Control Z the action comment in a or redo. Okay. Another interesting thing and important thing is a camera bookmark. <clears throat> you can open it and add a camera bookmark from this plus icon from here. You can set it view number one and you go here and miss your 
uh, view, just click on view number one, you go come back to your view. For example, you want to, this is fill on the focus. You can go here at the boot, bookmark and add another view. You can name it any name that you want. Uh, here you are, but if you want to zoom at that sphere, you can click on just view or any view that you want. If you want to uh, reset or refresh this view, you can go here and refresh it. Or you, if you want, you can delete it. Okay. And these are just for render that I will be explaining. And another tool about the, it's about the canvas. It's a fit canva, canvas, or as you can see, it changed the canvas size. It's not about um, uh, camera. Okay, these are the camera tools in this software. It's very easy. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.